All right, everyone, um, welcome back for Thanksgiving. This is actually going to be your last lesson um, where we're going to uh, learn new material. Um, after this, it's study for the final. So um, this, uh, this particular lesson uh, will be uh, review, and then the next uh, part of the lesson will be new material. So uh, this is starting on page 67. And uh, your last class, if you can remember before Thanksgiving, you went over hypothesis testing for proportions. So we're just going to review that. And uh, we're actually just going to use technology, um, although you could certainly do it by hand if you wanted to. So um, we have two different groups, and we're interested in comparing um, proportions. And we've done confidence intervals, and we've done hypothesis testing. And this will, uh, example will go over both. And uh, for our hypothesis test, uh, here is your test statistic. Um, it's a little bit more complicated, um, a, lot of, a little bit more to calculate, and so we're going to use technology to help us out. We're going to use either StatCrunch or the TI calculator. Well, we're going to use both, and you can pick which one you prefer. All right, so um, here is the problem. In a randomized controlled trial in Kenya, uh, they were, um, had bed nets were tested to, as a way to reduce malaria, and so they had two groups. One had the bed nets, and uh, another group didn't, and so the infants that had the bed nets, um, there were 343 of them, and 15 developed malaria, and um, the other, the non-bed net, bed nets group, 27 of the infants developed malaria. And we wanted to see if um, the bed nets significantly reduced the risk of malaria. All right, so um, here we go. We want to state the uh, the null and alternative. So step one, we're going to do a, um, a hypothesis test. And so when I do a two sample, I like to subscript with um, things that make sense. It kind of keeps track of the ordering of things. So I'm going to have um, B for bed nuts and N for no bed nuts. <laughs> bed nuts, <laughs> sorry. OK, and then the alternative is going to be um, that we get a reduction when we use bed nets. So it's going to be uh, less than because I have the one with bed nets first. All right, so there's the null and alternative. And the next thing we want to do is calculate our test statistic. Um, and then our p-value. And we're going to use technology um, to help us do this. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. We can, um, let's first use the TI calculator. And so the TI calculator, I go to um, stat, then I go to tests, and then I scroll down to, um, let's see, it's two proportion um, test. And I get past it. So there's the confidence interval. I forget which one it is. Oh, I just passed it again. It's um, number six, two prop Z test. All right, so I hit enter. And I just simply enter all the information that we're given. So group one is going to be the bed nets group. And so 15 is what we call the number of successes. Um, that's just generic term depends on the problem and n is the sample size for group one so we had 15 that developed malaria and 343 total and you have to put in whole numbers here because they're counts and in the second group I had 27 and uh, 294 all right and then I need to put the direction of the hypothesis test and so I have um, less than for my alternative, so I keep that less than, highlight that. And then I just need to calculate. All right, and so here's the uh, information that we need. Here's our test statistic, and then here's our p-value. These are the um, sample proportions that would go into your formula, and then if you scroll down, you get the sample sizes, but we already know that. All right, so my test statistic is negative 2.44, and my p-value is 0.0074. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and record that. All 
Alrighty, so we have uh, a negative 2.44. And our p value is, um, what was it, 0 0.0074. All right, so let's just do a stat crunch really quickly as well. If you don't have a TI cal calculator, stat crunch is really pretty easy to use. Um, the instructions are in the course packet, but we go, we're dealing with proportions. Um, so you go to stat and then proportions, and then we have two samples. And we're just going to put in our summary data, just the um, counts. All right, and then once you get here, it's really quite easy. Um, it's the same information that we entered in our um, TI calculator. So I have uh, 15, 343, 27, and uh, 294. And I can do a um, hypothesis success or confidence interval. So I'm going to need to tell StatCrunch which I want. So I hit next and I do a hypothesis test. This is going to be zero because the difference is zero that we're looking at. And the alternative is less than. So it's similar to the calculator, really, I'm giving it the same information. And then um, this is the stuff that we want right here. So we want the test statistic, a negative 2.44 and the p-value 0.0074. So we get the same information using StatCrunch. All right, so let's go back. And um, all we need to do is write our conclusion. So uh, we were testing to see if uh, the bed nets uh, significantly reduce the risk of malaria. Our p-value is less than 0 0.01, so we can reject H0. So H0 is out of there, and we're accepting the alternative that there is a reduction in malaria based um, on using the bed nets. All right, so uh, my conclusion sets our p-value plus than 0 0.01. We can reject H naught and conclude that uh, the bed nets significantly Um, reduces the risk of malaria. All right, and so I'm done with that, and now I can come down to my uh, confidence interval. And I just want to do a confidence interval. I'm going to go back to uh, StatCrunch first to do that. And um, I already have the hypothesis test done, and so if I want to do a confidence interval, I can just go to I can go through the same steps of stat and all that, or I can just edit it. And if I edit it, I just have to change it to a confidence interval. And um, since we did a significance test of 0 0.01, we'll just I will just do a 95% confidence interval. So I'm just going to keep it at 95%, and then uh, calculate. All right. And so the last two boxes are your confidence interval. So our confidence interval is negative, and that's what we would expect because the second proportion was higher than the first. And so we go from negative 0 0.088 to negative 0 0.009. We'll just round up. All right, and uh, let's see. I closed out the TI Smartware, but I'll open that up again. Oh, it takes a second. I wish I didn't close it out now. Okay, so here's the TI uh, calculator. And to get a confidence interval on the calculator, I go to stat and test. And then I, um, let's see, I go down to B, two prop Z interval. And I hit enter. And conveniently, all the information's already entered, so I don't have to do much. I just need to um, scroll down and hit calculate. Okay, and so here we get the same confidence interval as we 
did using stack crunch. Here's my confidence interval. These are the two sample proportions. All right, so let's go back to the notes. And uh, so the confidence interval, I'll just uh, write, type this again, was negative 0 0.088 up to negative 0 0.009. So this is a confidence interval for the difference. And so we note whether it's um, negative or positive, and we were testing to see if, the, um, if there was a reduction based on the bed nets, and that therefore we would assume that the, um, the group that didn't have the bed nets had larger numbers. If PN is larger, then when you take PB minus PN, you're going to get negative numbers, and so that's what we would expect. Um, and this is a confidence interval for a difference, so we can be 95% confident that using uh, bed nets will reduce malaria by our confidence interval. But I don't put negative numbers in my confidence interval because just saying the word reduce would mean a negative number. So I don't need to do that twice. So we'll reduce the malaria by between 0.9% uh, to 8.8%. I just made them percent, and then because it's negative, I had to switch the order. So it's an order. All right, so um, the last um, part of this is based on the results. Do the bed nets appear to be effective? So they did reduce malaria. So the answer would be yes. They don't seem to be extremely effective, but um, it did reduce malaria, um, the risk of malaria by a little bit. So yes, um, the bed nets reduced malaria, although only by a little bit. All right, so that's the end of that section, and the next lesson will be on the next section.